Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Let's talk about sadness today. Many people come to me and one of the things going on with them is they're sad. They're sad about their life. They're sad about the way things are turning out for them. They're sad about other people they come in contact with. They're just kind of sad about everything. And what is sadness? Well, sadness is created through a thought process. There's two reasons for sadness. One of them is the brain chemistry that we currently have is a little bit out of order and it causes our thought process to go to a fight or flight mechanism which is designed to protect us. Or the other thing that causes sadness is our own toxic thought process that automatically has us focused on negative and stuck there without seeing the balance of what else is possible. What I recommend for people who find themselves walking around in a blue state, which is kind of a country song way of saying I'm sad, is to take that day and to really, really be dedicated to looking at some of the blessings in life. Now I'm talking about blessings that we have a choice each day. Understand when we wake up in the morning, that day starts the moment your eyes open and it's that first thought. How many of you get up in the morning and say, oh man, another day, I gotta go to work. When you do that, you're really starting the programming that starts for a sad day or a depressed day. If you wake up in the morning and absolutely force your hand at the first thing you say is, wow, I have another day. There's new options, new potential, new things can happen today. It literally turns the corner on the way we're going to look at that day. Now the good news is you do have a choice here. Many people who are sad feel like they have no choice, like it's something that is kind of in their DNA. And sometimes it is. However, we still do have a conscious ability to pull ourselves out of it most of the time. And one of the biggest enemies is fatigue. When we find ourselves not sleeping well, when we find ourselves stirred up and worried, where we are really burning ourselves out, that's what sadness can really grab us and hold on to us. Our ability to be resilient, our ability to bounce back, really diminishes the more fatigued we are. So good rest and also hydration, drinking plenty of water, especially when it's as hot as it is across the country. You have to drink a lot of water. Lack of water also creates depression and sadness. The more hydrated we are, the better because our body automatically responds to dehydration as an assault on our system and puts us into fight or flight. It starts us searching for the negative reasons this is happening. So hydration, rest, good nutrition can't hurt either. So let's work on the attitude the first time we get up in the morning, right when we get up and really focus on that thought right there. And I believe if you will work on that and work at changing that self-talk, it's gonna change the outlook of the day. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary asking you to have a very, very positive day rather than a sad day. Bye-bye.